Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. I'm Kirukan and thank you for joining me. And I guess I just need to talk to people. Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? I had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not so much a buddy really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it, it's a long story, man. Anyway, Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? Why don't you ask her? And I'll talk to them last, since I imagine that'll push the story forward. I'm glad you made it out of that ambush okay. None of us saw that coming. But, lesson learned. Never have dinner with Joker. It won't end well. I don't even have a snarky comment for that. Glad Liara's on this. If anybody can sift through a mountain of boring stuff to find that one critical clue, it's her. Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. <laughs> Sorry, Joker. Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then, you broke their floor. Do they even have food you can eat there? Not the point, Shepard. <laughs> gonna move this just a smidge. There we go. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. Not the fish! I mean, who's ever heard of fish being killed at a sushi place? So, what was it, Shepard? Five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in. Unless the bad guys look in the window. Um, I haven't seen Javik. Oh, also Rex. Hi, Rex. Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. <laughs> I still got it. Hell yeah, you do. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. What can I say? When I do something, I do it in style. Or face first. Sometimes face first with style. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. I am compiling data on the gun for Dr. Tassoni. She should have the results momentarily. I'm gonna have to write a report about getting shot. I hear those are really complicated. It's faster if you make a template. I think maybe you get shot too much. I think you don't get shot enough. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. It won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan, out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, sir. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. 
That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No, but the truth is boring. Whoever that voice was, Khan's nervous enough to cut them loose. We can squeeze Khan until a contact drops out. Easier said than done. He has a panic room inside the casino, a good place to hole up. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse, if his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team, no gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Uh, too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast varin leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a chorus back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? Well, yeah. I mean, once you're in the safe room, you're safe. That's the plan, Brooks. Get whatever you need and be ready. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. I look ridiculous. Yes, you do. Think of it like camouflage. You don't want to scare the prey. Then we need to find bigger prey. Okay, this is good. Everyone looks at the Krogan. Nobody looks at me. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? I'm here, Shepard. Edie and I will keep in contact in case we're needed. Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Rex. Time to meet the riffraff. Oh, what? I think I can talk to this person. No, seriously. Have you ever tried to chase an ambulance? In a sky car, it's about the most dangerous thing you can do. I'll call you back. Potential client here. Enjoying the party? Like adrenaline in my heart. They're gonna have a fire breather on the bar later and shoot fireworks above the ward. Would fireworks even burn in a vacuum? It worked at New Year's. Whatever they did, it looked freaking nuclear. Okay, so... Commander, I'm upstairs by the grate leading to the shaft. But there's a problem. Can you meet me? Um, just as soon as I find the stairs. No, no, I'm not running for Citadel Council. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. There we go. So push my tour of the camp from 1 o'clock to 3, move the 3 to 5, and we'll find 10 minutes to eat something. Okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Dr. Tassoni gave me this to pass to you. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. 
I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. In case it needs to be said, don't try to bypass a camera while you're being watched. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omnitool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self-delete after a few seconds. Got it. The splice is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and... In we go. Act casual. This could take a while. Time for the shepherd shuffle. <laughs> also, Rex doing the same goofy dance. Hey, he looks like he's having fun, huh? This, this should just be the episode right here. <laughs> I think he was a bit upset. Looked like he wanted to keep dancing. What do you have? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Thessian Temple coming up. Are Asari drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also Asari, but they kick like a shotgun. But I never got my drink. Hi, Elspeth Moraine. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. Are you a citizen here? I've had bad experiences with politicians. Who hasn't? That's why I'm running. I got sick of leaders with ties to terra firma or Cerberus or worse. Oh? The ward needs refugee facilities. It needs security. It needs jobs. It needs everything. And hopefully, with a friend like Elijah Khan backing me, I can make it happen. Excuse me, I think I saw someone doing drugs in the ladies' room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games biotically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, ma'am. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to Khan. I'm brilliant at stealth. So, to sum up, tomorrow starts with the Help a Dream Foundation, then it's Blood Drive, Refugee Camp, and Hospital Tour. Hmm. Sounds like you turned pro. I try. Ms. Rios believes we have an obligation to the less fortunate. Of course. So how are you liking the party so far? There's a party? Come on, Tiger Bite! Bring it home! You got a lot riding on him? He's my boy. Picked him up at a shelter. Whoever let him go had no eye for racers. He can outrun anything he can't outfight, and outfight anything he can't outrun. What are the odds on him? Enough to pay for my kids' tuition. Uh, let's see. Who else can I talk with? Somebody over here, I guess. Why, hello, love. Isn't the turnout amazing? I wasn't sure anyone would show up. We pull together when we have to. 
I feel so bad for the humans. If you need a place to stay or anything, you just let me know. I have a place to stay now, but thanks. So you had nothing before that? Oh, how brave of you to endure, dear. The humans are so resilient. Like that phrase of theirs, stiff one in the lips. <laughs> a stiff upper lip. Right, of course. What did I say? Something that uh, means something very different. Wow, <laughs> that uh, that was quite the comment. Um. Um. Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable them from here. Okay, Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions and take down the sensors. Okay. Follow the red wiring. I no, I was asking for uh, Edie's assistance, not yours, Liara. I'm at a junction. There's a camera and a guard. Brooks, try it now. Checking the pressure pad. No alarms. Looks good. Follow the red wiring. That was some um, excellent stealth skill on my part. No, it wasn't. I totally missed what it, uh, what it told me to do. This is the one I already There's checked, isn't it? There's a by the wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. Hang in there. I need to look Got at your this. kitchen. I'm a food inspector. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have to see some... I'm at the storage room, great. Time to hit the lock. Wait, I was being watched the there? Brooks? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silent alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm, but you must stall him before he reaches Brooks. Hey! Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Barrels? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What'd you need? Oh, I'm sorry. Are, are you a security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. You! Enjoy your evening. <laughs> clear, Brooks. What is this? Please do not touch the waterfall. I won't touch the waterfall. Hmm. Oh, okay. Um... I guess we'll go with this one. Live holo feed start soon. Halfway there, what a battle. The Chunkin Princess wins. Live feed. 
Start soon. I don't think I won. What's your connection to Khan, exactly? He's a campaign contributor. Uh-huh. You may want to do a background check on him. He's dirty, like you can't imagine. Oh, not again. Um... Evening. What's popular tonight? Well, some adventurous souls are trying to mind fish. It's what Hanar like to do instead of alcohol. I guess since they're mostly water, the dehydration would be bad. Right. So there's this fish with hallucinogenic skin oil. Gets Hennar buzzed right up. What happens if humans eat it? Way more potent. And it releases into our system slowly. Best to clear your schedule for the entire weekend. Ha! Huh. Rios. I feel like I should know that name. I did a little acting, then in the 70s during the Blitz, I was named Goodwill Ambassador for Refugees. So I guess this kind of thing doesn't really impress you. Me? No. For the people who can get clothes because you bought a ticket? Much different story. Hello again. Siliana Aranos, by the way, and this is Lehanna Parit. We're friends of Mr. Khan. Hi. Lee here encouraged him to have a charity night. She just about melted his heart. Uh, Mr. Khan doesn't melt, but I did show him it earned some good press. Have you bypassed the camera back there? Well, I got my side. Yours is still on, though. We need to finish this before someone comes by. Hang tight. I'll get to you. Follow the yellow wiring. I can't get the security gate to open from here. The junction must be on your side. It might be tricky, just so you know. Have a little faith. Hmm. Are you following me? Rex, don't need get him. To call for backup. I'm just looking for a game that is a trap. We uh like to be prepared, sir. Suspicious activity. Uh oh. Floor. A guard spotted me. If you act normal, hopefully he'll move on. Shepard, mingle. You're not mingling and you're not betting. What's your game? The name's Roland Quarn. The game, Commander Shepard, is hearts and minds. Care to elaborate? Most people in this casino are here for a good cause. Others are just here to be seen. Phonies, if you will. They have money they won't miss. Others who are not myself need it. So the honorable thing to do is part them from this money. So you're a con man? Con men leave their marks angry. Con artists leave them smiling. Okay, I need to figure something out here. Wasn't there another uh, <coughs> panel somewhere around here? It wasn't uh, this one, right? Any luck with the gate, Commander? It'll be done when it's done. Don't work like planned. Okay, 
how that's working. I think I need to set up a um, distraction for one of these guys. get through here. Hey, you call that guarding? Is there a problem you'd like to report, sir? You have a good night now. Problem you'd like to report, sir. Got it. Con, you and me are going to have a talk. Up like this, and someone else got to do the shooting. Rex, not happy. <laughs> Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it! Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or <gasps> when I tripped that alarm. Did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the calm. Oh. So we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. Name a time and a place. Or you could hide behind voice disguises for the rest of your life. You're trying to rattle me, so I slip up. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. <laughs> Bring a bigger hammer. Your last try was inadequate. I'm going to take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Hell of a party. Almost as good as Krogan do it. Doesn't count unless the host dies at the end. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. And with that, I'm gonna end the episode here. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for the next one.